as I mentioned in the introductory rites today, worldwide, the church celebrates the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And this feast commemorates two things. The first is the dedication of the Church of St. Mary, built in Jerusalem near the site of the temple. Additionally, with Christians of the East, the Latin church also remembers on this day the tradition according to which Mary as a small child was presented to the Lord by her parents in the temple. My brothers and sisters, in a sense, we celebrate a particular and an essential beginning to each of our salvations. It's brought about by Mary's parents, Aaron, uh, rather Anne and Joachim's united action. As a married and faith-filled couple, Anne and Joachim chose to offer their precious daughter to the Lord. In faith, they were returning to God the unexpected source of joy that they had received from him and gave this beautiful child back to the Lord. I believe there's a beautiful parallel between Anne and Joachim's offering of Mary to God in his service and the widow's offering in today's gospel. Jesus points out that the widow gave all that she had in contrast to the wealthy who only gave from this surplus. Likewise, when Mary's parents brought her to the temple, they offered their only child to God, knowing that they would have no other children. Hearing these stories of total self-giving makes most people wonder, how did they do it? How do they have the faith to offer everything to God, not knowing what will happen next? We hear in scripture that God rewards the generous giver, even that God's generosity will never be outdone. And yet at times we wonder, and sometimes we worry if we can have that much trust in God. Without the grace of God, that's where we remain, wondering and worrying. Both the poor widow and the parents of Mary's lives were touched and changed by this very grace of God. And they responded as our examples in their piety and their generosity to God. As I thought more about this, I believe there's a reminder for all parents and extended family in today's feast to present the children in our families to God, both in prayer and most importantly, in the sacrament of baptism. For it's in baptism that we publicly, within the body of Christ, the church, offer our children to God, and through the Holy Spirit that they become sons and daughters of God. We offer them totally to God, and through the Holy Spirit, they enter into the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus. There is no greater gift that we could give to God and no greater gift that our children could receive. And in addition, they will begin a life like us in which God's grace will prompt them to offer in big and small ways their lives in the service to God. My brothers and sisters, let us give thanks. Let us give thanks today for the examples of Joachim and Anne and for the poor widow in their full and fruitful generosity to God. And may we grow through cooperating with God's grace in how we bring our children to God through baptism and in our sharing of our talents, our treasure, and our service, beginning with our families and spreading outward to those most in need. On this feast day, may God bless you and your families, and may we be inspired to be generous givers in how we serve the Lord.